you know, stay with me on this. This might be a leap, but it's my leap, so I'm totally going to take it. This movie is the best Resident Evil movie we've ever gotten. Kind of, in a way. But a way that's worth it. So Barbarian's written and directed by Zach Krager, who's I don't think I've seen any of his movies at all. I think back when I worked at the movie theater, I might have seen Miss March, but that's it. But judging by Barbarian, dude might just have a bright future ahead of him. So the premise of Barbarian, I'm gonna keep it vague because the trailer was vague. Thank you, trailer. Thank you, trailer, to a mysterious horror movie for remaining mysteriously vague. It is appreciated among we, the audience. But the premise is essentially, there's a character played by Georgina Campbell she goes to this house, it's an Airbnb, and there's someone there, played by Alexander Skarsgård, and from there, place might be a house of horrors. I'm sorry, I need to keep it vague because that was the fun of this movie for me. This is the first movie in a very long time I knew nothing about. I didn't know what the trailer looked like. I didn't know what the movie was about. I heard nothing about the movie. I heard no buzz. I didn't know what the critic reception was. I have heard no drama surrounding the movie. All of it was very refreshing and led to me having a very mysteriously fulfilling horror movie experience in the theater. Because the first act of this movie is absolutely some of the best horror slash thriller movie tension I have seen in probably years. You don't know who to trust, you don't know what's going on, everything looks fine, but it's, you know, it's a movie with that poster, so obviously everything's not gonna be fine. And it's that uncertainty mixed with the endless possibilities and path of horror movie unknowns that this movie could take. <laughs> Damn it, that was the fun of it. Georgina Campbell was great in this movie, and although this movie does bounce to other characters, she stands out. And the back and forth in chemistry she has with Alexander Skarsgård, that brought me into it. Justin Long plays a shitbag and he plays him so well. Zero regard for people around him. Like this one scene where he opens up her laptop, types in it for a second and shuts it and throws it. The way he lobs it, you're like, no one does that. Shit human beings do. It's also darkly funny and it usually has to do with, again, Justin Long, like when he's measuring this room for the square footage and you're like, you, we're not looking at the room. I don't know why, that cracks me up. This movie does have that horror meets social commentary angle, usually revolving around Justin Long's character, but also a conversation with two other characters. All in all, it did weave it into this movie very well. This movie had some disturbing imagery in it too, and I wanna clarify, I'm not necessarily talking about violence, though this movie does have sparing use of violence, but when the violence happens, it's like, oh, that's undeniably bloody. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is disturbing imagery, which isn't necessarily the same as violence. I always appreciate it when a filmmaker knows that those two are not the same, that they are separate. I will say, though, like I said, the first act, chef's kiss in terms of tension. The second and third acts are never as strong as that first act. In fact, in the third act, there are some things that go down. You're like, was that cheesy? Uh, it, it was a bit cheesy. Still really enjoying the movie as a whole though. That's when you know you found something special is when it can throw things that kind of come across as cheesy, but you're like, but it didn't compromise it. I respect that. Guys, in the end, Barbarian was a surprisingly enjoyable horror movie experience. Once in a while, you see a movie come along and you think about the premise and the execution. You're like, that would have been right at home in 70s, 80s era horror. But it's undeniably a modern take of that. So it was this really fun merging of the decades of horror. It wasn't overinflated. It was a nice runtime of about an hour and 40 minutes. And in the end, I walked out having myself a great time. No alcohol required. I know there's a new <laughs> Pinocchio live action movie out there on Disney Plus, but I like me a good, enjoyable horror movie. I feel like you might too. I feel like this was worth getting out there first. All right, so Barbarian, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.